Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny is a wonderful return to form for the franchise and a fantastic way to say goodbye to the character we all love, played, of course, by Harrison Ford. It opens up during World War II, and so they had to de-age Harrison Ford uh, for that, and it is absolutely seamless, both in terms of its actual effects, but of course the story as well, which sets us up for what is to come, aka, you know, the looking for the Dial of Destiny. It is a true adventure from start to finish. Uh, the set pieces are wonderful. Uh, they're they're th thrilling, right? Like they're everything that you expect from an Indiana Jones movie. Now, the only complaint that I've seen is that it's a little bit longer uh, than the others, and sometimes it feels like that. To me, it never felt like that. Uh, you know, I was truly captivated with everything on screen. I knew this was the last outing for Indiana. You know, uh, certainly of Harrison Ford that you know I would see on a on a big screen, and so I was just engrossed. You know. Uh, yes, it's lengthy, but to me it justifies its length, um, and it has that humor as well as action. Uh, James Mangold uh, steps in to direct this, and though, you know, if you really look at it, um, yes, the style is a little bit different than what Steven Spielberg probably would have done, but all the same, it fits so well. Uh, it's wonderful. You know, the characters that we're introduced to, uh, you know, there's both old and new, and, you know, you fall in love with the new characters, at least the ones that you're supposed to. So, I absolutely loved it, um, you know, and it's wonderful to see Harrison Ford, you know, as this older man, you, you know, translate that to his character, because a lot of times, you know, Indy has to kind of be a little bit more resourceful, and he can't just be, you know, uh, just running and gunning like he used to back in the day. And that's a neat little sort of uh, foil for him, and he has to rely on others a little bit more and, and things of that nature. So I thought that was really well done, uh, smart and stuff like that. But it's not to say that he doesn't get involved in the action. He does. Uh, if you've seen the trailer, he does many, many um, sort of stunts and action scenes. So it's wonderful to see. Um, and, you know, the, the score, as always, is fantastic. Um, I loved where it went. You know, I, I was on the ride from start to finish. And the, the the last thing that I'll say is it truly honors everything in this entire series. And it does it in a way that's not like heavy handed or, you know, there for nostalgia's sake. It all fits into the story, including elements of, um, you know, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. And not that it like makes that in hindsight a better movie, but at the same time, it doesn't like redcon it or try to belittle it. Like it's all part of that world. Again, without having to like go too far, a wink and a nod and things like that. Like the elements and the Easter eggs are there, but they're not overpowering the story. And so, you know, that to me was a wonderful touch because it just showed that the writers and the and and, and the director and the rest of the crew you know, knew what they were making, they honored it in a beautiful way by bringing that to the forefront, um, but as I said, without, like, just crossing some sort of line, right? So, uh, it's wonderful. I would love to tell you, like, my favorite action scene, but there's so many, and there's some that, um, you know, I haven't revisited the trailer since seeing the movie, but I think there's a few one, uh, of them that are, like, withheld, um, or at least like only hinted at, and so I think that's absolutely wonderful um, because there certainly were some incredible surprises for me along the way, and that's what you would want, right? And so for all those reasons, I loved Indiana Jones. If you grew up loving the original trilogy, and you know perhaps you even like Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, I personally don't. I revisited it. I thought it maybe like with the benefit of hindsight, I would like more. Didn't anyway. The point is that regardless, you know, of the fourth movie, I love Indiana Jones. Was excited to see this one, and you know, it didn't disappoint. So if you're someone like me, then I think you will get the mileage you're looking for. If, you know, perhaps you don't have that affinity towards Indiana Jones, then it might not be there for you. I'm not sure. But I think it's still a wonderful movie. Um, a good, even though it's part of a franchise, it is ultimately like even the, like I'm talking about with the tiebacks to the other movies, you don't need to know them. It is a standalone movie for the most part. 
And, you know, it's just wonderful to see, uh, you know, a blockbuster movie deal with kind of growing older. Um, I, I think that's, uh, that's needed as well, you know. Um, everything's just so sometimes over the top that, you know, we forget these things and, you know, we shun people off that, uh, you know, become a little bit older and stuff like that. And um, I'd love to see the movie deal with that. So, you know, those are my various thoughts um, at random about the movie and why I really enjoyed it. But as always, I'm curious to know what you think. So comment down below and let me know.